When you download an older version of macOS from the Apple website, you'll end up with a DMG image containing an installer package. You're supposed to then run this package to get the install macOS app in your applications folder. The problem is that Apple only lets you run the installer on a Mac which is compatible with the version of macOS you've downloaded. This means that you can't use a new Mac to create an installer USB for an older Mac and vice versa, since it'll just give you an error message saying that it can't be installed on this computer. In this video I'll show you how to bypass this error and run the package on any Mac regardless of whether it's compatible or not, so that you can create a bootable USB for older Macs on a newer one. First, download the version of macOS that you need from the Apple website. Now, open your downloads folder and double click on the DMG file to mount it. Inside, you'll find install macOS x.pkg. Drag this file onto your desktop. Now we're going to expand this package to access the contents inside. To do this, open a terminal window and type cd desktop. Then type pkgutil hyphen hyphen expand and then drag the file into the terminal window to paste the path and finally choose a name for the folder where the files will be extracted. I'm just going to call mine install folder. Hit enter and the files will be extracted from the package and placed inside the new folder. Once it's finished, double click on the folder icon to open it and look for a file called distribution. This is just a plain text file so it can be opened up in text edit. Right click on the file and select open with and then other. Scroll down the list of applications, look for text edit and then click open. This will open the file in text edit so that we can edit it. Now look for the function called is supported platform. In this function we can see a list of supported Mac board IDs. So all we have to do is add our own Mac to this list to allow the installer to run. Go back to the terminal window and type ioreg-lp io service vertical bar grep board hyphen ID and press enter and you'll see your board ID. Highlight it and press Command and C to copy it to the clipboard. Now we can switch back to text edit and add our board ID to the list. Click inside the square bracket at the start of the list and type speech marks, then press Command and V to paste your board ID, close the speech marks and add a comma. Now you can go to the file menu, click on save and close text edit. Finally, we just have to rebuild the package file. Switch back to the terminal window again and type pkgutil hyphen hyphen flatten followed by the name of the folder, which in my case is install folder. Then choose a name for the new package. I'm just going to call mine install macOS x underscore fixed dot pkg. Press enter and after a few minutes you'll have the new package on your desktop and now when you run it, it'll install without any issues. When it's finished, you'll find the install macOS app in your applications folder. And you can use the instructions on the Apple website to create the bootable USB for your older Mac. I hope this video helps. If you have any questions, put them down in the comments below and I'll do my best to answer them. That's it for this video. Thanks for watching.